Uh, today we're going to talk about a workaround if your users started to suddenly receive sorry no recent found messages and if you're looking in your sheet and you're noticing that some of your payable order you're not receiving a payable order ID for some of your orders. Today on April the 7th Google has had an outage uh, which is causing the triggers not to let our service know when new orders are coming in, when new form submissions are coming in. Uh, this has been frustrating and we're tracking it. However, if this is impacting you, you are looking at your, um, your response sheet and you are seeing missing payable order IDs, uh, your customer likely got to this page where it said, sorry, we couldn't find a recent order that they should receive an email shortly. Um, so what we've done is we've built a manual workaround so that you can automatically uh, regenerate pay payable IDs for your missing orders. If you have a lot of orders and you were doing some testing, um, what the script does is it will look through for any order in your uh, past that does not have a payable order ID. So you can see here I have two of them uh, there and one here without payable order IDs. Uh, to get this to work, all you have to do is go back to your um, original Google form in edit mode. You can just refresh the page, wait a second or two, um, look for the add-on plugin here, click on this and hit payable forms. You've created a new option called generate missing payable IDs and you're going to select that button. What this does is it should start running and if you go back over to your sheet, um, you will see here that the payable IDs are populating here, populating and populating, and they'll be marked as email sent, email sent, email sent, and that will send out the emails uh, to those users as long as the email address was set up correctly um, as part of your form, which hopefully it was. And so that will send these out. If it was not set up correctly, you can always email them uh, directly and you can click on these items to go to that checkout. Um, and this will redirect you to the checkout now that it exists, uh, that it's there. So we do apologize, this might happen hopefully very rarely, um, but if you do come across a, the rare order without a payable order ID, um, that is how you can uh, get it generated and have the user unlocked and then they can submit payment. So uh, sorry about that, this should be happening instantly, but from time to time, if you do come across missing payable order IDs, that is the workaround. Thank you.